What up fam, welcome back to our channel, I'm Dale. And before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good eats like these. Welcome back, it's such a treat. Grab your plate fam, come on, and let's eat. So, before we get into much today, make sure you check out the description box down below to get you 10% off your code using the coupon code CODIS. So, what we have before you today is a New York steamer, double meat. That's it, that's all straight and to the point. We got a lot of new family members. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all can be anywhere on these YouTube streets. Y'all chose to be here with us. And for that, we appreciate you. So let me get y'all the first bite. Mm -hmm. So Jazz in the room watching the heart-wrenching Kobe Memorial. Mm. Not too much going on. Mm. But, as I was saying, sadly, Jazz is watching the heart-wrenching Kobe Memorial. And that's pulling on everybody's heartstrings for a multitude of different reasons. T, you the goat for that um tossing the air fryer so T from TLE TV had Firehouse the other day and she gave me a light bulb moment. Throw it in the air fryer, help with that soggy bottom, and give that a little bit of extra crunch. But this is sad just for a host of reasons. I mean, some people are gripping to cope with the why, the who, what, when, where. Well, for me, that part is the least of the concerns and worries. Because with this, it, just, it highlights what I've already seen, but just brought it back to the forefront. Celebrities, I believe, be invincible, you know? And not really by all. And what I mean is like when a celebrity passes, especially if it's in something that's normal, that's for normal people, the world goes crazy, like, how'd this happen? No way it should've happened to them, but money doesn't circumvent God's plan. Cause no matter how much money you get, you can't change that time that's in that book. For whatever given path you're currently living on. This video might be bouncing from place to place. Just because it's a somber day here. It's rainy, muggy. A couple of memorial services. Things we have going on in our personal lives. So today is just an overall like bleh day. Mm -hmm. But I'm thankful to be six feet on the right side of the ground. Still celebrating another day with my wife and kids. I could be true, but I don't feel like it double meat though. I 
I could be tripping hard. But when I worked there, I remember the meat being like stacked. That's unfortunate. One day I'm gonna have to get double meat in a single side by side, stack side by side. Or, instead of selecting the sandwich with three different kind of meats on it, pick one. Like a steak. <laughs> I wish you could talk about it and tell them to put your extra meat on the side. But it's gonna taste the same. Beyonce sang at the memorial. Kobe's favorite song. Which that's kind of like. Not if but when because. There are two things in life that are guaranteed. That's death and taxes. As soon as you. As sure as you're born. You're to pay taxes and to die. So for me. I like to hope that my legacy. Got too much bread there. I like to hope my legs in the kind of person that I am. I'm left here touching people. Because realistically, are you living your best life or are you just living life the best you can? <laughs> Somebody probably looked like this fool said, too much bread, you gonna bite the bread. They look good. I want to be the type of person that leaves a legacy, that leaves something behind where people are like, man, that was a good person. Try to make an impact and a mark on the world to change it for the better while I'm gone. Well, when I'm gone. Because although I know I'm going to have to live here, friends, family, bloodline still have to live here when I'm gone. Shooting while I'm here. So Jack wants some Jimmy John's cookies. But the road to Jimmy John was a long and tumultuous one that we were not gonna take today, fam. Now nah, I'm not lie. If the thin meat that's on the side is hanging off, it probably threw me off. I'm sure you hear the little construction workers. If you're living there, cool. But if not, what's your ideal location to live? For me, I want something with an amazing school system. a lot of kids to have the basic necessity and foundation 
building up. That's why we got to move because our school system here is I think we already talked about that once. If you have county school systems and city school systems where you're from. Cause hip well. Parents will break their neck using an address or anything to be able to qualify to get that children to a school system that's not in the public school system because here ours have tend to be the worst. When I was in high school, my arm model was spectacular. I've all heard declining things these days. I actually graduated from can't say HBCU because not university, but a historically black high school. Before it became Parker High, it was previously industrial high. So that's a good thing too. Come from that kind of history, that kind of heritage. Well, could. That's a cool thing too, come from that kind of history, you know? But nowadays, all the school closures that have been here, and so many high schools that have been closed down, a lot of different schools have merged. My high school is no longer only people from a certain area in a circle focal point. So there are a lot of beefs and a lot of fights and robberies going on in the school for neighborhoods because you got two robber schools that are from two different side of towns that merged that had to get sent to my old alma mater. Well, <laughs> I'm really afraid because, of course, my arm mark is old. Of course, it's old if it's my arm mark. This was good. Hit D spot. oatmeal raisin first, then I'm gonna have two white chocolate macadamias to chase behind each other. And I can go white chocolate, oatmeal raisin, white chocolate. Decisions, decisions. I thought I'm gonna eat those chips. Because I'm so used to the Masterpiece Barbecue, these are great value, dollar bag. You got them fluff for the video. Because sometimes a 14 inch sandwich ain't enough.
Now this is gonna be a good last bite. Let me let me make sure I get a little bite out for it first. Are your affairs in order? Do you have plans for something unexpected happens in life? Y'all. So what are your plans for this upcoming week? If I'm being honest, mine's just to relax. To get a peace of mind. I've been running like a chicken, my head cut off. One of the things I think can be cumbersome when eating is chewing. Because everything has its own ideal amount of chews before it's fully processed. Some things take less chews. Some things take more. Some take less this time than they did last time. I forgot to eat my favorite cookie. This was a treat. I can honestly say I never had an oatmeal raisin cookie until the subway trend became big. And I would get them from subway. Besides that, never in my life. I know y'all probably think like, dang, everything for y'all was a treat, wasn't it? Well, bro! So yes, it was. I'm a real, so I know what I came from. So I know I appreciate the things that God had placed before me. But God, but God, but God. <laughs> and on that note, our fam styles go to these wonderful people right here. And if you want to shout out them, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we drop good video like this. Comment because we can't give you a we can't give you a shout out for commenting if we don't see a comment. And until next video, fam. Love you guys. Thank <laughs> you.